January 1939 was a pretty significant week or two week period in uh, human history. Simultaneously in Copenhagen and in Germany, Lisa Meitner and Otto Frisch discovered that uranium will fission. And the fission of uranium was very important because you have to fission uranium to make an atomic bomb. At that conference, um, there were a couple of physicists in attendance from the Carnegie Institution. And as soon as they heard word, they ran back to their lab and as quickly as possible fired up their particle accelerator that they had built a few years previously. And they actually succeeded in fissioning uranium the next day. And Enrico Fermi and Niels Bohr and some other well-known scientists came to the Carnegie Institution to witness this first-time event of the fission of uranium with a particle accelerator. That inspired me to do the project that I'm doing here in Denver. The best thing for me to do as an art installation was to recreate the moment and recreate the machine and recreate the experiment because I felt as if it was an important time to be to bring all this up again. And so basically I spent the past four years rebuilding the machine um, based on notes um, and photographs and drawings from the Carnegie Institution Library. And I faithfully, as best I could, reconstructed the machine and in addition, re-fissioned uranium um, in, you know, did, re redid the experiment. And I was able to duplicate the experiment and fissioned uranium the same way they did at the Carnegie. I felt that it was an important enough story and that, that it needed to be shown and it needed to be exhibited in some large venue where a lot of people would be able to recall the events and see what the actual things looked like. And so the only way to do that is a perfect recreation. I thought it was also important to try to stretch the boundaries and the definitions of art because in the 21st century and beyond, I think the definitions of art are gonna be tremendously twisted and rearranged. And if I can contribute to that, I think it's great. I thought Energy Effects was a very appropriate title um, for an exhibition covering the subject that I had been dealing with for the last decade.